Welcome back to the truck stop, everybody. Sorry about the wind. Hopefully, you guys can hear this all right. Well, unfortunately, I have a feeling the vlog is going to be a little bit late, but by the time you're watching this, it's either going to be on time or it's going to be late. So, either way, as you can probably see, there is a emergency sign <laughs> um, with an ambulance sign over there somewhere. Uh, I am fine. I am perfectly fine. My uh, my uncle, on the other hand, um, he's been having a little problem with his feet or one ankle. And today, um, he went outside to do something, and the next thing you know, pop the shoot, you know, excruciating pain and everything like that. Um, so the vlog. Is either going to be on time or it's going to be late. So I apologize about this. But, uh, anywho, getting back, I had a question. And it was a really good question. Um, basically, Stephen wanted to know what my opinion was about um, like listing trucks and, and those websites and newspapers and everything like that. And, uh, Basically, you need them. We need them, all right? Whether it's a truck or <clears throat> uh, farm equipment or, you know, whatever. Whatever it is. Um, we need those um, sites and um, the ability to, you know, sell stuff on our own. Because if you, if you relied on dealerships, I'm not saying all dealerships are bad, but... If you relied on dealerships, <sighs> good luck. Um, but, yeah, if you just relied on dealerships, you, you know, the value of everything would go way down. And so, sorry, I had to switch hands. So hopefully you guys can still hear me. But, but uh, the, uh, the dealerships, you know, they got to make money themselves. So... Obviously, they're going to get everybody at the lowest price. They're going to sell it at the top price. So, I don't really have a good, bad, or indifferent opinion about, um, you know, like truck paper or you sell spots or, or anything like that. You know, anything where you can sell, an, uh, you know, a diesel or, or a car or anything like that. My problem is, is the seller's not being honest with the buyers you know like when i sold voodoo um you know i told the guy everything that was wrong with it that i knew and i was straight up honest with the guy you know i mean i still had it priced you know with that in mind but i had it priced a top dollar and I, I was honest with the guy um you know now it's to the point where you Sorry, I'm just keeping an eye out this way for an ambulance because like I said right back there is the emergency room and I don't want to get ran over um, If somebody needs to get in here like really quick, but um, So it's not so much, you know, do I like or dislike the The uh, like truck papers and and everything like that I don't have a problem with them. We need those. We need those types of things to make the market competitive. Competitive, and but the problem is, is like I was saying, is it's the buyers and sellers. It's the it's mainly the sellers. You know, just tell the people. Be honest. You know, now it's to the point now where I was trying to get to um, is, you know, somebody selling something. Why? Why are they selling it? What's wrong with this that they need to sell it? How much is it going to hurt me to buy this vehicle? You know, whether it's a truck or a plane or a boat or whatever. Um, why are they selling it? And... Holy crap. <laughs> but, but, there's a lot of weird noises over here. <laughs> but anyways... um. So that's kind of the that's the kind of the my big issue with whole, you know, buying and selling everything is it's all become 
oh my God, it's broke, let's sell it type situations. Not all of them, don't get me wrong, not all of them are like that. But it seems to be a really big popular trend um, in buying and selling stuff. So that's really the only issue that I have with you know, selling and buying anything is, you know, and, and it could be, you know, from a stove to a car to a semi to whatever else people buy. Goldfish? I don't know. Maybe it's a neurotic goldfish or something. I don't freaking know. But, <laughs> but do people even, is, is it even possible to have a neurotic goldfish? I mean, all they do is just freaking swim in water, right? It's not like you can play fetch with them or, I don't know, maybe, maybe there is. I don't know. I don't know. But, Anyways, get back on track here. Um, so I mean, that's really my only that's that's really my my opinion on it. Um, and it's 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 not neither you know nay yay or nay towards the um, the selling sites or the selling pages or the selling magazines or anything like that. Personally, it's it all comes back to the the sellers. You know, um, it's now. You know, I mean, growing up, it used to be a 50-50 market. Now it's more like a 25, 50, or 75, you know, 25% of the stuff on that's used on for sale is good. 75% of it is bad. You know, they're selling it for a reason, and it's not a good reason. So, um, but yeah, that's really my only, my only issue with buying and selling anything is you know just that but anywho thank you guys so much for the support it's been absolutely amazing hopefully i can get this video up in time i don't know if i'm going to be able to and i know it's really dark and you can hear the wind i apologize and i'm probably not even in the frame but anyways um if you guys have not hit the subscribe button yet you should um definitely give a thumbs up not for me but for my uncle hopefully he's gonna come out just perfectly fine um, but anyways um, I'll talk to you guys on down the road all right all right see you guys later bye